Hi, and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. Today, we're going to be drawing... Everest! <laughs> yep, we're drawing Everest. Were you skiing? Yeah. <laughs> Everest from prop... Everest from... We're drawing Everest from Paw Patrol. <laughs> All right, are you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get started with the nose. Do it right here in the middle. Right here? Mm-hmm. Oh, cute. So now, yeah, we're gonna fill in the nose and I'm gonna leave the highlight. So, I'm done already. So cute. All right, so now we're gonna draw a little line coming down. Good. And then a smile. And then three dots. Eek. And then two little lines. It's cute. Oh, <laughs> so cute and little. And then a little rainbow right above the nose. And then just off to the side right here. Uh, a rainbow shape for the eyeball and then it just curves underneath it for the bottom part of the eye and then you're gonna draw a circle it's a pretty big circle fills up most of that shape and then just a small reflection off to the side look at this <laughs> oh that's a clever way of doing it Hey, okay. I need to put over that right here. Okay, so there's the pupil. And then I'm gonna draw her other eye. Right there. And then the circle inside. Ooh. Here we go. Okay, now draw the circles inside for the eyes, the highlight, and the black part. And then we want it thick along the top parts. And then three little eyelashes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, cute. One. Two, three. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Does he look like a dog? Yeah, a really cute dog. Okay, so now let's draw her eyebrows. One right here. I don't want to. It might help you know where to put everything if you do the eyebrows. No! Okay, that's fine. Does right. it look better than mine? No, I think yours is so cute. Okay, so let's do the tufts of hair off to the side. So we're gonna make curvy lines wait, that wait, come to a wait, point over here. Look at my and then it angles smile. down. Oh, I love it. So there's some curvy lines. They almost look like a tree. <laughs> and then the same thing on this side. Little curvy tufts of Did hair. It's smaller because her mouth is small. Oh, cute. Can you do some little curvy tufts off to the side? Little ones, okay? Okay. Stop. <laughs> now we're going to do her little chin. Squeeze like that. It. Draw a curve, I mean a diagonal line down. And I don't then it, like that. It kind of flattens I'm, out over there. I'm going to do what I want. It's and my then, picture. We're gonna diagonal it down here and then it flattens out right there. Yeah. Cute. And then we're gonna do one more set of tufts out here because she's a really furry dog. And then it curves down and meets up with that. And this is gonna be a darker purple and this is a very light purple right here. And then this side. All right, so we've made a triangle over here and then it curves down and meets up down here. 
Okay, so now the way we do the hat is from these tufts of hair, we're gonna be doing little wavy lines for her beanie. Did you know that's what it's called, is a beanie? What? Her hat is a... It's beanie? One of the, no, beanie. That's what they call warm hats. All right, and then you curve up, and then you can make some more for the top part of it. Do you wanna, hey look, you didn't make the top part of her beanie. You need to do another curved line along, and then it gets smaller on the edges. Cute. All right, so now for her ears, we're gonna draw. I'm ready to my ears. Okay, just watch me for a little bit Does then. this look like a jackrabbit? No, that's cute, that's really good. Okay, watch me, please. I'm gonna draw a curved line going that way and then a curved line coming down so it kind of makes like a curvy triangle. And then two little tufts of hair right there. And then we're gonna draw a line that goes up the same way and then down almost the whole way. But then we're gonna have a little line coming down cause she's got her hat on behind it. But I'm not gonna draw the whole hat yet because I wanna draw her other ear. Okay, so right above this eye, we're gonna draw the inside of her ear with a curved line up and then a curved line down and then two tufts of hair. And then right here, we're gonna follow this line up and then this one curves back a little bit and then a little line here for her hat. And then this is when we're gonna connect the two sides for her beanie. And I didn't curve that quite enough, so I'm gonna just curve that a little bit more. And then we're gonna draw another line because there's two colors in there. Okay, now have I caught up to you? Have we caught up to each other? All right, now it's time to do her collar. So you can make these little curved lines coming down, like she's got this coat for around her collar, or like it kind of looks like a cloud. I'm looking this way. Oh, cool. So yeah, you just make these curvy lines and they create like the, the collar of her, her coat. And then we're gonna make a little triangle right here. <laughs> did I say triangle? I meant a little rectangle. Mom, and then, I did. Oh, cute. I beat you. you beat me, yeah. And there's a curved line back there for her collar. Fluffers. And, and then we're gonna make the symbol. Fluffers. 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 So this is her symbol. A jacket to keep her warm. Uh huh. She's got a tree in her. So you make almost a triangle and then you make another bunch of them below. And then just a little um, line right there. And then you can trace around the whole thing like that. Mommy, mommy, sharpie, sharpie. <laughs> Look, I did it! Oh, Ooh, you're doing so good. Okay, so now we're going to make two little lines for her shoulders, Ooh. like that. <laughs> Are you pretending to fall asleep? Okay. And then we're making a curved line like this because she's got this cool little um, fringe on the edge of her of her vest. Could you help me? Sure. I'm very bad at this part. Okay, let me help. Let me just show. So it kind of looks like a hook almost like that. So you're going to start right here and you're going to curve it up to here and then down to there. And then just like the same. I don't know how. Okay. Bigger? Well, try to have it more curvy, like a cane. It's kind of like a candy cane. Like this? Kind of, yeah. All right. And now we're going to draw two little lines coming down under her. See? Yeah, right two now. little lines coming down under her vest thing. And then we're gonna draw her paws. So from her little vest, it's gonna go like that. 
that. Then I do a little bit big. I think you want to do it more right here. Aww. But that's okay. That can just be like a rock. So just draw it right there. Good. And then right next to it. Yeah. But first we're going to draw these curved lines in her paws. Kind of to show her toes. And now I'm ready to draw her legs by doing this line for her vest. Then my baby. And this line for her vest. And then I'm going to draw this line for her leg and this line for her leg. And then we want to draw little, look at this, little zigzag lines in there. This one zigzag because That's this fine. is kind of close. Okay. And then since her paw, you didn't put her paws right next to each other, connect this with a little upside down rainbow right there. Like this? Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so now we're gonna draw her back legs. That's so cute. Okay, so her back legs, you're gonna do a rainbow right next to her other leg, and then it comes out and down, and then over and up. And then we're gonna draw two curved lines for her back toes and then we're gonna draw some zigzags Ta-da! I'm already done! Well we have to draw her tail. Oh, yeah. How do I make my tail? I'll show you just let me catch up to you. And then zigzags and this I just didn't make her front legs kind of quite wide enough. That's okay. All right, so. I her tail. Oh, that is good, yeah. So you curve up and up, and her tail for me is gonna hide behind her head. But, um, and then there's gonna be two I'm different done. colors. Okay. All right, now we're ready to color it. Thank you so much for drawing with us. We hope you had so much fun drawing Everest with us. And I would love to see how your Everest turns out. So tag me. We'll have one of your parents take a picture of it. And then you can have your parents tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio on Instagram. And then I can see it. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos. And we'll see you next time.